is Miss Sierra here and today I'm going to teach you all how to make Rice Krispie Oreos right here in my kitchen. Alright, you ready? Alright, so first things first, what I need you to do is grab all the materials that I have listed here and I'm going to grab mine too. So I'll grab Kids, let's get started. So first thing I like to do is, of course, I'm gonna wash my hands first. So I make sure that you do it too. So, yep, we're gonna make sure we- A few moments later. Finish washing my hands. Now it's time to get started. So I've already started putting um, marshmallows in my measuring cup. This is, uh, I'm supposed to add four cups. These are the mini ones. Um, it's your choice to do the large ones or the mini ones. I like the mini ones. They melt easier. So I'm gonna put four cups, and this is a four cup measuring cup, so I'm just gonna fill all the way to the top. All right, and then I'm gonna roll, giving us a little left, we're just gonna make sure. I just like doing it right. <laughs> so I'm gonna put my marshmallows in this container until it's time to use, okay? So add that there. And now we're going to add our six um, cups of Rice Krispie Treat cereal. Alright. Open them. Alright. So that means if this is a four measuring cup, that means I have to add what? Yep, two more. Two more cups. going to grab another different container because that was not going to be big enough for me and then I'm going to add two more my cereal which is four cups. Now it's time to add and get my double stuff Oreos. That's so crazy because I love Oreos. So I was like, I love Rice Krispie Treats. Let's put them together, you know? So part this one back and it was great. So I like to do like about 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine, ten cookies. And I grab a wooden spoon and I smash them. Now it's time to get cooking. All right, so if you are not able to cook um, alone, please grab an adult because I just want to make sure that you're safe at home. So now what we're going to do is we have our butter. And we need three tablespoons of butter. Any type of butter that you choose, any type of butter that's at your house. All right, so I'm going to put my stove on about low medium low and I'm gonna just start letting my butter melt okay it's starting to melt as you can see now we're gonna add our marshmallows oh so I'm gonna add my marshmallows now and your goal is to have your marshmallows completely melted
do is I'm going to use some spray, oil spray, and I'm gonna spray this down just a little bit, just so it won't stick. And then I'm going to grab and I just chose a small one. I mean, of course, you can use whatever size impressions that you choose. See it? Mm. Smells good, looks good. And now for me to flatten it down, I like to use this little spatula because it's non-stick, so it won't stick. And you see, it's, just, it's easy. It just lays down super, super quickly and super easy. And then I try to get all the extra because I don't want them. I don't want work to take it off. Yeah. So. Flatten it down, as you can see. And it's not sticking, so it's easy to use. Mm -hmm. I like to fits. And then sometimes I like to cut already because it's all it's so soft at the moment. So I usually get a knife and I usually cut so it can already be prepared when it cools off. But this just makes it easier. So when it's time to share, grab your little piece and then have it. If you're not able to cut, touch mine, ask some adult to cut it for you. And there you have it, you have created Oreo Rice Krispie Treats. So what you do is you just let this, you can put it in the refrigerator, put some parchment paper of, of, over it, and you can store it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. Thank you for watching and I hope you really enjoyed it. Let me know what other things you would like to put in your Rice Krispie Treats because I'm pretty sure anything and everything is possible for this. So let me know, comment below, and let me know what you got. Have a good day.